We are here for the first Jack Layton Memorial Summit. We have some candidates here. We have Adam Golden. Adam, please introduce yourself. Hi folks, my name is Adam Golding. I'm running for Ward 11, University of Rosedale, and uh, Kevin Clark has asked us all what we need to do to prevent homeless deaths this winter. There's a number of things we need to do. Uh, we need to operate warming centers, obviously, because the cold is what actually kills you. Um, there's a number of ways to do that. We need shelter vehicles. Khalil is working on that right now. It's what they did in Winnipeg. Um, they shut down the program. They hear that Todd Coach Lines was running. Uh, we have to expropriate a lot of vacant units. Um, we need to tax them as well, but for this winter, we need to actually expropriate vacant units because the time frame is so short. Uh, tax wouldn't change things fast enough. And um, you know we have 26,000 vacancies and 10,000 homeless, so expropriating those units is the fastest way to save lives. I endorse Adam Golden in, where are you at? Ward 11. Ward 11. Why will I endorse Adam? Because he has immediate solutions. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Next we have... Hi there. My name is Pierre Tarian and I'm a retired authorized nuclear operator. I think in order to fix the problem of homelessness, you first have to identify the problem. Conservative populists like Doug Ford have systematically crushed every social program that we have. Welfare or social assistance or whatever it's called these days, the dual. It has zero capacity to sustain anyone in the real world. Cuts to the welfare system by conservative populists like Doug Ford has directly led to people with no other choice but to live on the streets. 10,000 homeless line our streets. Mothers, fathers, daughters, sons. Conservative populism is the enemy of our society. Populism is the source of divisive hatred in our society. Populism is defined as a political approach that strives to appeal to ordinary people who feel that their concerns are disregarded by established elite groups. Populism strives to pander to the little guy, to amplify the division between them and the elite. People rally around this big lie. This is the big lie. This is the source of division and hatred in our society. The idea that people should suffer on the streets in order to suffer from the school of hard knocks. That the homeless deserve to be there. Doug Ford says he looks out for the little guy. He tells his supporters he's going to drain the swamp. And the elites are out to get them. It's then an excuse to cut taxes. Doug Ford would have you believe our society can't afford to bring the homeless in from the cold. I say our society cannot afford to leave them out. All Doug Ford wants to do is cut social welfare problems because his supporters believe in less taxes. So every decision of the government is forced to look for efficiencies, as Robin Buxton Potts has revealed in her speech about her committees. The conservative populist mantra, which the media has continuously reported Doug Ford to be, is to make the public suffer with conservative tax cuts. What we simply have to do is make housing first. We have to figure out what it will take to house everyone and then set about achieving that objective. When you figure out how to fund it, then you figure out how to fund it. They did it in Finland and they did it in Utah. Housing first. 90% reduction in homeless people in shelters, period. It's a 90% reduction in homeless people on the streets. I, will say, I say it will take 10 billion over 10 years to solve this homeless crisis. We need $100 million immediately to secure at least 4,000 beds before the snow flies. I recommend 4,000 beds and a secure temporary place, a lot of it in bunk bed style accommodation. I recommend at least 1,000 new permanent beds be controlled by youth without shelter alone. They are an excellent group doing excellent work. We will demand immediate federal assistance to repair the social fabric of Ontario, which has been ruined by the conservative populism of Doug Ford. Ontario is broke and Toronto is broke because of conservative populism. Elect me as Ward 11 councillor and I, will, I won't shut up until John Tory and Doug Ford are asking for federal assistance immediately. If I am elected, we will provide at least a bunk bed and communal style living before 
the snow flies for every homeless person. If they don't want to come inside, we will help them. Nice. We will tell them why we understand them. The current homeless nice. shelter system is unsafe. My own son was in there last nice. fall. The Toronto police openly report to me that the Toronto shelter is not safe. Yeah. It is a place where you go to get A, beat up, and B, robbed. Oh, I say the Toronto good. shelter system Don't should worry, be I'm... safe enough so that when well, a teenager no, rebel right. wants to refuse the rules the when there are always the good. rules down at the shelter, the safe, the bar, secure the sleeping facilities really? with a secure place to lock up a few things, a safe, secure th place really? where you can begin. Ah. I, I say we need a federally funded cafeteria to provide anyone who needs to eat hot food until this homeless crisis subsides. I think there are going to be people living in tents. I think there are people living in tents downtown Toronto who are working to save rent. I think Toronto should provide adequate housing for its transient families who are here to do a lot of hard work for a reasonable cost. I think the shelter system should be large enough to capture the bulk of new immigrants, especially those coming in from foreign societal collapse. Climate refugees included. I think that we should provide space for Ill illegal immigrants who make it. I most certainly believe that our modern, sophisticated society can provide a bed for each and every Canadian who for any reason finds themselves on the street with no food. I believe we owe a social, social debt to First Nations for making them suffer so much through genocide and societal destruction. First Nations suffer more in Canada than any other social group. We need to make sure every single First Nations person has food to eat and a safe place to sleep. We will demand at least 4,000 new temporary beds and more than 1,000 permanent new beds for youth without shelter. We will continue to increase the supply of temporary and permanent housing until every homeless person has a bed to sleep in, no matter how they get there. As for low-income housing, I will say this vast opportunity for federally quality, federally funded low rent housing exists in the Portlands. Larger units of three, four and five bedroom apartments to bring quality of life for those who do the real work of our society. The Portlands could become a beautiful neighborhood of stunning public space, a place where Toronto's workforce can thrive. Canada is the strongest country in the G7. We have oodles of money. Canadians are wealthy. But ruining our social fabric has put 10,000 decent human beings on the street. We need federal assistance to repair this damage. We should ask the federal government for infrastructure money to build an Olympic village. Thanks for listening. I'm Pierre Tarion, Board 11 candidate. Now the endorsement. I will not endorse Pierre for the councillor, and not because he does not speak sense, not because he's not qualified, because I've endorsed Adam Golden, because all it, Pierre, because Adam has spoken of the immediate solution. I will, I will endorse Pierre for a provincial candidacy, for him to run provincially if he chooses to for the People's Party of Ontario. Because the issue, I will also endorse him for the new federal party that we're gonna form. The real People's Party, wow. or the real People's Party, lot. or the People's <laughs> Political Party of Canada. So I will endorse him eventually and federally because the issues he speaks about are issues of what I've spoken about. I've spoken about getting provincial and federal cooperation in us bringing solutions to homelessness. So Pierre is a great candidate to bring solutions, but he's a great candidate provincially because of the speaker of Doug Ford. He was a provincial party leader who was not even a provincial party leader when I was a provincial party leader. Yeah, huh? That's close, so Pierre, I will endorse Pierre for a provincial run or a federal run, but currently in this riding, I will be endorsing Adam Golden because we need immediate solutions to, hom to homelessness. But I will also recommend that Adam 
Ayers Pierre. We gotta cut years. this off. No, no. no. <laughs> we, we got Adam Ayers Pierre as, as an assistant in the counselor's office. I probably will. Uh, All right. Thank you, Pierre. Pierre, thank you for coming. Hey, yeah, Future for coming. member of provincial parliament for Rosedale. Thanks, God, man. God bless. You're right. Thank you very much. Pierre, you just want to make sure. Pierre, you just do some food. Are you going to give Jessica some food? Yeah, I might have to stop it. Hey, I had, I had to find Buster down busted. here. I'm busted. This is I'm a, like so f busted. What's right your now? language? No hate, no anger, no vulgarity. <laughs> and Pierre also gives back to the people. So I will endorse him provincially and federally, and I will assist you if Mr. Mario Greco approves it and you and him come together on views. If he endorses you too, oh, I will assist I'm willing to talk to anybody. Yeah, yes, let's we talk. will assist you sure. Me too. on your provincial and federal campaign. All right. So let's go to the next Thank candidate. You. And we, we have a short time because we have to get these all uploaded and onto the internet before the morning, before vote starts. And then we'll tag them with the homeless logo. logo. Okay. Thank so you, Pierre. Pierre Tijan, Thank you very much. Future, Thank Pierre you. Tijan, Likewise. Our future you member too. of provincial parliament. God <laughs> is with us. And you'll make a good one. This is the Jack Layton Memorial Summit. And we are with city council candidate for Ethiopian Lake Lakeshore, Bonnie Hu. I am going to endorse Bonnie because I've sent a lot of emails to Mark Grimes. And I do not get much reply. And I do not know the content and the character of the other candidates. And if Miss Carol Arroyo was here and she was in that ward, I would most likely endorse Carol, but I will endorse Bonnie because I believe that she has heart and it's the heart that brought her here. So tell us, Bonnie, what will you do to combat homelessness in the new Toronto and prevent homeless deaths this winter? Uh, to prevent homeless deaths yeah. in the winter time, I would like to expand the leases on the hotels that uh, the city has been housing people who are experiencing homelessness in. Uh, the leases are set to expire soon, but they should be extended to how ever long it, it is needed until uh, more housing is built to house the thousands of people who are homeless. Interrupting the speech! Tisk tisk! That that helicopter is interrupting the speech. Okay, we'll we'll continue. So, so normally, if you're with the mainstream media, they would try to shut out Bonnie Who. But we're not with the mainstream media. We're the people. And we believe all people shall have a voice and not have distractions. So Bonnie has just started telling us what to do. And we are going to continue from the start again, the things you would do. Or would you like to start over? Okay. All right, Bonnie, you may begin. <laughs> uh, I would like to extend the leases that the city has on the sh hotels that are currently being used as homeless shelters. Yes. Um, to however long we need them for until more housing is built yes. to accommodate as, mi as as much as the demand calls for. Yes. Okay. Is that it? Yes, that's it. So this Thank is you, Bonnie, Bonnie Hu, and she has given us immediate solution. Immediate solution is to expand the lease on these hotels or to have housing that is equipped. So I was proper in my endorsement of Bonnie Wu because when we talk about Mark Grimes, people say, who? 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 Who's on first? Who's on first? <laughs> one, one second. So who's on first? So for you to get the first choice, the best choice, go Bonnie Who. She's shy, but she does have me. So her sister with her shyness. Mm -hmm. And she does have Mary of Greco. And I believe she has all these other people here. And with that, we can make her a strong city council. God is with us. So next, plus. we have, this is the first memorial, Jack Layton Memorial Homeless Summit. And we have here 
Toronto Center City Council candidate, Mr. Miguel, how do you pronounce your last name? Avila. Avila. Tell us, Miguel, what can you do, what would you do as city councilor to prevent homeless death this winter time? Well, I'll be honest and straight with you. The first thing we should do is tell this individual, this person, that four, no thank you to the mayor's powers. No. Because the mayor's powers is a threat to our democracy, to, to the power of the city councilors to have decisions made in the benefit of the homeless population. The mayor, if Mayor John Tory gets reelected, he is not going to uh, advocate for the homeless. And plain and simple, you gotta vote. Because if you don't vote, don't complain. Thank you. Now, Miguel, <laughs> what would you do as city councilor to prevent our reduced homeless death this winter time? Revolution. That's it. I, we, we, we tired. We try petitions. We try all forms of being a nice people to our elected leaders. They don't seem to get it. I'm sorry that that's my, my point of view. Yes. We need to have a revolution. I don't, sorry, I that's don't, my position. I do not switch up. I endorse Miguel not because of his views on revolution. I endorse Miguel because I feel he's a hard worker. I feel he has experience and knowledge in reference to Toronto and the downtown Toronto core. Mm -hmm. I have known him for about probably 30 years. I have seen his dedication, his dedication. And I am somebody who lives on dedication and I'm dedicated to the people of the city of Toronto. I'm dedicated to all people. I believe that Miguel, even though he may be sidetracked, and I agree with you. No, no, even, no, with Doug Ford, just about Doug Ford president, right? But with a strong mayor power and all that, you know, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. make a comment on that, but I will stick my endorsement for Miguel because he has dedication to the people who are in need, who need service, and service is what's all about. Yeah. So, I guess the candidate, we're waiting for two other candidates and myself, and I will give my speech once he's finished with Miguel. Okay. Bless all right. So, that concludes my. Um, my two cent uh, contribution to tonight's first ever Jack Layton Homeless, uh, Jack Layton Memorial, Summit. Homeless Memorial Summit. Yes. And yes. it's going to be every uh, every second, second Saturday, Saturday or every month. Of every month. All right. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we now go to the future mayor of Toronto, Mr. Kevin Clark. This is the first Jack Layton. Memorial Summit. This summit was inspired by two people. Mr. Jack Layton, who created the summit in 2010. At that summit, I met the man who is now my best friend and my mentor, Mr. Sam Collius. He is the owner of Broadwalk Property Management, Canada's largest landlord and friendliest landlord. He's also, at the time I met him, I did not know was the 95th richest person in Canada. The summit brought together provincial, municipal, and federal leaders to discuss solutions to homelessness. This summit brought together municipal leaders, those who were running to seek city councilor, school trustee, or mayoral job. There is Isabella Gambit and Mr. De Cruz and Mr. Atkinson, who are two other opponents of mine for mayor. I ask and thank them for attending. These individuals will definitely have a position in our administration. When we are elected Toronto mayor, on October 24th, or 
when the superior court puts us in the position of mayor. For that to happen, we have to have the leading votos of all candidates, excluding those four media candidates. Mr. Tory has violated the democratic rights of the people of the city of Toronto by excluding the clear front running Toronto mayor. Six time mayor candidate, 10 time provincial, five time federal. I am the equivalent, the equivalent of Doug Ford on a provincial basis. Aside from him being premier, we are both provincial party leaders. How could Mr. Tory have fixed this election? He fixed the election because I'm a former homeless man. I know that homeless people are someone's children. They're someone's brother, someone's sister, someone's father, someone's child. I know that there are solutions to the homelessness. The immediate solution, as the question asked, to prevent homeless deaths this wintertime is for us to stand up to the new Democratic Party union. The union. The cause of unions, they close and kick out people out of the homeless shelters at 8.30 in the morning. They're not allowed back until 4.30. A large amount of the homeless death comes from people being shoved out in the streets in extremely cold weather, forced into cubby holes, forced to sleep on bridges, forced to sleep in abandoned cars, and in precarious positions. I would install where we would not kick people out of the way to The union says it is so the staff can clean. I do not put someone's job, someone's job description, or someone's title above human life. A life is too precious for us to leave to die in the streets. So my immediate solution would be to stop kicking out people at 8.30 in the morning to see that there is warming centers that's available to people all times of days. But there's also shelters that are available where people can sleep in the daytime if they were out all night. And to also get family, friends and loved ones involved in helping those who are homeless. The big problem with homelessness is that their loved ones abandon them when they get on drugs, when they get on alcohol, or they start to lose their mind. But those are the times we need family to be kind and to invest in your man. I'm Kevin Clark. <coughs> I'm running for mayor because the children are the future homeless. And I've been through hell. My body's ravaged. I've been through pain. I've been through suffering. I've been through hardship. <coughs> I do not wish on the children of today with the future homeless of tomorrow. So, solutions I have to bring right away. Have a beautiful, blessed, and wonderful day. And don't forget, Sam Colas is law. Always love. Peace be to all. God Bye. bless. Future Mayor of Toronto, Mr. Kevin Clark.